run in. Um, anyway, a lot of women, um, you know, have to do things and um, keeping uh, ferritism at bay, um, you know, is, is something important. Um, you know, basically um, staying pregnant so you don't go insane, you know. And um, these days there are legal ways, you know, you can, um, you know, rent your womb out. But sometimes there's some, I think there's a crazy law in Indiana that um, if the egg and sperm donor back out, then the birth mother is responsible for the child and they can back out after seeing the child. So if they reject the child, you're stuck with it. And you are, you know, legally liable, child support and everything. Um, so that, and then there's other things like if um, doing doing different things, um, like uh, you know, um, you know, it's none of your business kind of stuff. It just doesn't work here. People, you know, you tell somebody something and it's none of your business, and you don't satisfy other questions, then you you find yourself the subject of a very vague. Um, an intensive criminal investigation in which um, extremely unprofessional people um, are making sure that everybody knows that they've seen something so they can make up anything that they want to and spread it around about you and it, people have to pick and choose for themselves what parts of what they say are true and false. And then there are people, you know, peripheral people, outriggers, sitting out there making sure to kind of guide that process in different directions. So, you know, that's not, that's you know, something like that, you know, where um, that happens, that's, that's not going to be really possible. So, um, the, but the idea of um, letting um, important uh, decision-making people in my life go fucking insane is just, it's, it's not an option here. And um, so there's the, the half-check half option where, um, you know, you take a child to half term, and then you move it after that point, and um, leave everybody in the lurch. And oops, I got a fibroid. Kind of explanation. And um, I don't know if the medical stuff has progressed to the point where they could drag you in for medical examinations and make it all a broad daylight kind of slandering people in public kind of thing or not around here. What will happen? if they get to that point around here. Um, but if we interest enough people in this process, then um, chances are we're never going to get there. And I think that's part of the thing. It's not enough people were interested. Everybody was saying, oh, you don't need to know where your children went. Um, you don't need to be involved in what's happening with them. And this is our way of life in our community that you're not a part of. And so you can't search us for your children. And whatever's happening with your children, they aren't part of our community either. But you can't look for them. And whatever we're doing with them here that is not part of our community, it's none of your business. You know, kind of stuff. You know, that kind of thing. You know, it's not personal. You know, we don't care about your traditions. This is just what we do here. You know, and it's like, well, you know... Um, if you, you want to like set the pikes out around your um, hilltop and uh, just hole up up there, you know, you just go on ahead and do that um, as long as you can hold out, I suppose.